Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Take a look at a nice setup that we had in the crude oil market this afternoon during the afternoon U.S. session. Crude oil has not been as volatile and crazy as the indexes and the precious metals. And so there's been some less stressful uh, setups in crude and we did get a nice one this afternoon that was good for 50 ticks and it was right in here this is our 30 minute chart the 5 and the 13 had already crossed to the downside price was still above the 200 and above the 50 it broke below it earlier in the morning pulled back up and then left this uh, reversal doji right here and a reversal doji again is when the bar finishes in a doji but the high is higher than the previous bar and so it becomes a reversal doji if the next bar triggers it to the downside it becomes a continuation doji if the next bar triggers it back to the upside and price continues to move higher but in this particular case we were setting up a reversal doji which was also a bear flag next bar triggered it to the downside by the way that bar was going to trigger underneath 47.29 next bar did trigger to the downside and we made a nice push to the downside again the move was actually a little more than 50 ticks we were able to lock in profits at 50 we never actually hit significantly undervalued which is a little unusual normally we're looking to uh, um, take profits or at least tighten stops when we hit significantly undervalued but uh, we really didn't get that on this particular push down so and this is what it looked like on our Unirenko chart. Because again, our Unirenko chart is our primary trading chart. And that was all happening right in this area right here. We had the consolidation that formed the doji. It pushed down. We got a little pullback. We actually had this pullback to the 50, but it's still during the lunch hour, not a time that we want to trade. Plus, we actually didn't have a trigger right here. But what we did get was a trigger right in here off of the 30-minute chart. That's where we triggered the bear flag. Again, we're still kind of in the lunch session, so just but coming out of it at that point. We're actually coming out of the lunch session. That happened on the 12 to 12.30 bar is when we actually got the trigger. Usually do not trade between 11 and 12.30 central time. So our 30-minute bear flag actually triggered right in here we got the pullback a nice setup on a wick off the 34 we were um, had a decent momentum reset not a perfect one a, a, a zero touch would have been a little better but we got a decent momentum reset but more importantly we have a setup we have our price below the cloud below the smooth 50 the 50 SMA below the smooth 50, the 34 EMA below the 50 SMA, getting a wick off the 34 with a decent momentum reset, and in the context of having triggered a 30-minute bear flag. So we were able to enter that trade right here, and we took it on down. Again, we didn't hit significantly undervalued, so we held through the first pullback, came down in here, Again, still not significantly undervalued, but we started to pull back, actually made a white bar right in here. We're able to lock in 50 ticks on this, plus it's three waves. It was uh, three waves at that point, actually a fourth wave. We had our first wave down, a second wave down, a third wave down, and a fourth wave down. And typically, we're not looking for more than two to four waves in any given mood move. And again, we had hit our fourth wave at this point, and so just went ahead and locked in the 50 ticks and got stopped out. But a nice push down, you know, four targets off, potentially, depending on how many contracts you were trading, plus a 50 tick runner, $500 per contract. And again, without all the crazy volatility, you know, the indexes and the precious metals are just whipping all over the place. And uh, crude, you know, this was a, a fairly sh stressless move to the downside. And not a bad trade um, with a 30-minute confirmation.